There are some amazing fashion trends heading our way in 2020 and there are some that, well, are not so amazing. So if you'd like to find out the trends that I think we should all avoid in 2020, then just keep watching. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. I've already featured a couple of videos this year on some of the top trends heading our way in 2020. And it wouldn't be the beginning of the year without me posting a video on the top trends that I think we should avoid. Okay, the first fashion trend that I think that we should all avoid is supersized statement bags. Now, fashion has kind of gone from one extreme to another. Last year, we saw those mini, micro, tiny little bags that were super impractical. Now we've gone from one extreme to another. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a decent size handbag. I carry around far more with me than I need to, like probably most of us. But what has happened this year is that bags have just got enormous, like ridiculously oversized, which I think is not practical and not really sensible. It's not even a good look. So the first trend that I think we should all avoid getting sucked into is these super sized statement bags. Another trend that we can expect to see everywhere this year and one that I'm not recommending is denim jumpsuits. Now, I love a great jumpsuit. I think that they can be super flattering. The problem is that denim is, is seeing a real return to popularity this year, which is great. I've recently done a video on double denim and how to wear it. If you've missed that, I'll link that up above in a card. I never remember which side it is, but I will link it up above. But what we will also be seeing are denim jumpsuits. Now, the problem that I have with these is that they're not generally very flattering unless you are a bean pole. The heavy weight of the denim tends to make them just quite bulky to wear. So jumpsuits are great, but in finer fabrics, I think they tend to look quite hard edged and very utility like. If that's the look that you're going for, great. But generally speaking, I don't think that they are universally flattering. So jumpsuits, yes. Denim jumpsuits, not so much. Okay, this year it seems as though disco is not dead and what we are going to see a lot of is these really large, prominent disco sort of 70s style collars. Now, we will be seeing them on shirts and jackets and coats. And yes, these statement collars can give your outfit a bit of a wow factor. But collars and lapels are generally the quickest way to date an outfit and to date a piece of clothing. So when you do anything extreme with collars and lapels, generally speaking, it does date that item. So I know that collars will not be staying larger than life for a long time. So if you are investing in these pieces, just be aware that they're not gonna be around for a long time. So it will be a season investment and that's all. For me personally, that's not the way that I like to shop. If you guys do, all good. But these supersized disco-esque style collars are on my what not to wear list because I don't think that they're going to be here for very long at all. Okay, crochet is getting a really cool update and there's a big part of this trend that I love. I love the fact that it's going back to basics and it's a return to slow fashion and it's also about handmade clothing. But the crochet trend is going to be potentially everything but that. Yes, in essence, that is what it stands for. It's a more eco-friendly way of dressing, but the crochet trend will be mass produced and also it's a very impractical trend to wear. If you've ever worn anything that's crocheted or or knit, any sort of knit fabric that has a loose weave in it, you get caught on everything, it gets snagged, it gets pulled, it is so impractical and it will date as well. I don't think crochet is a trend that is here for a long time, it's here for a good time. So just be aware that it's not practical and again it's just not going to be here for long. 
Also, I think that a crocheted piece needs quite a bit of styling to make it look cool and modern as opposed to it just looking a little bit old and homespun. So unless you're in the mood for really styling up your looks and creating quite fashion forward outfits, I think the crochet trend does run the risk of looking a little bit old fashioned and just not cool and modern as it's intended. Hot pants are staging a comeback for 2020 and if you have amazing legs or if you just love showing off your legs, that is great. But generally, shorter than short shorts aren't usually very flattering for most of us. So that's really the reason why this trend has made it onto my what not to wear in 2020 list. I just think it can look incredible on the right people, but it can also go horribly wrong really fast. So for me personally, I wouldn't be recommending wearing hot pants this season, despite the fact that you will be seeing them everywhere. Okay, one of the colors that we can expect to see this year too is marigold, which is a little bit like a, somewhere between a sort of a sunflower yellow and a mustard. Now, I've talked about wearing yellow in videos in the past and have really come under fire, but I still hand on heart believe that yellow is one of the trickiest colors to wear. That's the reason why I've put marigold on my what not to wear list, because it does take a little bit of time to work out the right shade of yellow for your skin tone. Now, I'm not saying that there won't be a shade that will suit you, but it is one of the trickiest colors to get right. So. When you see this particular yellow in the stores, just be a little bit careful and make sure that it is going to be complementary to your skin tone. The easiest way to find out is just put it up to your face. Usually you can use your instincts and tell straight away if, it makes, if it's a color that makes you look alive and vibrant or if it drains you and washes you out. So marigold yellow is one to just proceed with caution. You can also expect to see lots of shiny fabrics and, and sequins this year too. Now, I'm a bit of a magpie at heart and I do like anything that sparkles and I do tend to be drawn to it. I feel like we've done the rounds of sequins. The way that it's being styled in 2020, in my opinion, is just too much. So we're not seeing touches of sequins, we're seeing entire sequin dresses. And when it comes to shiny metallic fabrications, we're seeing entire suits that are in this fabric. And it's a real sort of 70s shiny fabric. So I think that it is a look that can work really well on the runway. It is tricky to get right. It's tricky to make look modern and it can look cheap really quickly. So sequins and lots of them and super shiny fabrics are a no-no or they get the thumbs down from me this year. All right, this next trend, I'm sure many of you are going to disagree with me on it, but Coat dresses are a no-no this year from me as well. Now expect to see plenty of them out there, but I just don't think they translate well into everyday life. And again, this is a trend that I think looks amazing on the runway, but when worn, they just don't translate. They're not very practical. When you're wearing a coat dress, you generally can't tend to peel off a layer. You are stuck pretty much wearing a coat. And this year there are so many amazing, beautiful, long sleeve, long floaty feminine dresses in feminine fabrics. I just don't know why you would choose to constrain yourself to wearing a coat dress. But please let me know what you guys think of coat dresses in the comments below. As I said, I'm sure some of you will really love them, but I just don't think that they are a practical option and they don't translate in real life in the same way that they do on the runway. They look amazing on the runway. In real life, when you wear them, they never look as sharp. So for that reason, coat dresses get a, a big no from me. One of the biggest trends for skirts this year is side slits. Now, I love a good side slit. It is a really sexy feminine look, but slits are getting higher and higher this year. And I just think, they are leaving nothing to the imagination. But if you do see these skirts and you love them, 
One thing I do suggest is going up a size because that will give you a little bit more coverage and perhaps a little bit more length. But in my opinion, the side slits that we are going to be seeing on skirts this year are just a little bit too cheeky and not overly wearable. The other trend that I'm saying a big no to is shoes that are being laced up, but laced up over the top of your trousers and pants. Now, don't get me wrong, I know where this trend is coming from. I kind of like it. I like it when I see it in fashion magazines and on the runway, but it just doesn't translate into real life. I'm sure it's not going to work. As soon as you sit down on the subway or at your office desk, things are gonna pull apart and not look all perfectly positioned. Also lacing up your shoes around the outside of a great pair of pants isn't gonna be great for your pants. It's going to completely ruin their shape. And I just think it's it looks good on paper and on the runway, but it's not practical. And for that reason, I won't be doing it and I won't be recommending that you guys do it either. But please let me know in the comments below if this is a laced up look that you'll be going for this year. Anyway, that's it from me today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you would give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I can't wait to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh